Okay, today here we have a Sony WMFX 511 Walkman Radio Cassette Player. This is one of Sony's higher ends after the 400 after the 400 series yoke. This is the higher end or yoke, because your 500s and up there is your higher higher end Walkmans here yoke, or better made. Good stuff because this one has your mega bass, auto music search, AMS, AVLS, and your Adobe B and R noise reduction. All that jazz. Your door open and close. Serial number. The inside of your cassette deck. You know, cassette player. Let's see what we got here. Uh oh. Close it. Let's open that back up. Sorry about that. Cool. I like this one too. Nice Walkman. There's one of the higher, a little bit higher, higher end ones here. And yes, it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn the flashlight on. Show you the inside of the deck here. There it is. This one has a little bit of higher, higher end cassette, cassette deck here. Yep. This one right here. I got what? Do you, I guess what they call them little plastic covers over your capstans here. Those little plastic, those little black plastic pieces yep, that goes over your capstans. Yep. yep. That's how you walk in. See here. Yep. Very cool. Stereo cassette, yes, yeah, a stereo head, you yeah. know. Stereo cassette, stereo head. <laughs> of course, it's a stereo cassette. Yep. Yeah. Not a very good view. Take that down there. Alright. The only thing about this, I can't demonstrate the radio because the, the radio on button that's right here is a little, it's got, I gotta fix. I have to fix that little plastic pin in there that's in that broken side there. But every other button works besides besides just this one. Everything else works good except for except for this button right here, yep. And what's so cool about this one, this takes one battery. This is a single this is a single double A battery. This takes one one double A. One double A battery. That's all you that's all you need to power this one up. Easier to close too. Yep. <laughs> I can demonstrate the cassette player, but the only thing I can't do, like I said, was the radio. Yep. Yeah, all the buttons work except for that one right there. Yep. <laughs> and then get the camera to zoom in. Yep. I want the radio on button, the band thing. Yep. That's the only one I can't. That's the only one I can't change the radio. Deck here. Sorry about that audio. I can't think of you. <laughs> don't want you. Don't want you to be after me. I'm playing music on your videos. You can't be doing that. Yeah, Load it in just like that. It's got those little metal little clips that host the tape in. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's close it. Yep. Alright. the features in here. Okay, cool. This is your play, your stop, your fast we fast forward, we won. This has your auto music auto music feature there. I'll show you how to operate that here, it's pretty cool. Okay. Hit your play button. This should go into play. Flip it over, see what we have. Is she moving? Yep, she's going. Cool. You can see that? Pretty cool. So it is auto reverse. 
flip it over again. Show you that uh, AMS feature here. If you hit the fast forward, fast forward AMS, check this out. See what says AMS one. You should have fast forward advance to the next track here. And to find the next blank that blank spot in the tractor if it's got over four seconds so sometimes it definitely works and sometimes it doesn't there sometimes I have to stop it <laughs> there you go oh no nope, we found it there it goes let's go like that All right. let's go and you can do your rewind like that if you want to advance. If you want to rewind that track again, you can do it like this. Yeah, rewind. There you go. Take it back to the beginning of the song. And you can still do your regular fast forward and rewind in there, but you have to take it take it off of play here. We'll show you the direction here, feature. Get your direction button. There you go. Switch sides. This also has a blank skip there, where it says on. If there's any blank spots in the cassette, it'll automatically fast forward through those blank spots, and it'll advance to the next to the next track on the cassette tape here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop it real quick because you can do your regular fast forward. You can do your regular fast forward. Flip it over. That's fast forwarding. Hit your stop button. Okay, hit your play. Hit rewind. Cool. Oh, because you can still do your regular fast forward and rewinding. Okay, hit the stop. Oh, hang on, let me get, make sure we got rewinding. Let me show you that. There we go. Yeah, it is rewinding. <laughs> okay, flip it back over. Get your start. Okay, hit the play button. Alright, let's try that rewind feature in uh, AMS mode. This is a Sony WMFX 511. Like I said, that's one of Sony's higher higher end Walkmans here. Yep. I guess we're back in the late 90s, early 2000s, or when it was made. There, trying to see what that Deco says was that late night, like 99, 98, early 2000s, or what here. Yep. Pretty nice Walkman. Cool. All right. See what else I can show you on this on this cassette player. Here's a headphones, the green piece. That's your hold button. Flip it over. Cause you hit this. You should hit your hold. Yep, that's your hold button. Take it off and it takes it off a hold. That's your volume control. Unless you're opening up your cassette door here, yep, yeah, where it says open, that opens up your door to your cassette player. And this is your DC in 1.5 volts. It only needs a 1.5 volts, so it only needs, runs off of one battery. And that yellow, that yellow part right there, yep. Yeah. DC in 1.5. Not a back area, that's nothing here, just a little, let's see. Battery supply 1.5. On IEC, yeah, all your other things, size AA or equivalent, yeah. Made in Japan, pretty cool. They got a lot of, they got a couple of videos on YouTube about this Walkman, and I mean, I think there's like what three or four or so, yeah, including this one there that I'm making, you yeah.
I'm gonna let you go there, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.